Many of the people mentioned in the Bible had lives that were full of trouble and problems, and in the middle of all their troubles and problems, they made some pretty bad decisions. Yet even after all the mistakes were made, and after all the problems and trouble, God forgave these people and was able to turn their lives around and help them break from their problems and sins. Okay, raise your hand if you have problems in your life. Everyone. Okay, now raise your hand if you've messed up, sinned, made mistakes. Everyone. You see, all of us have troubles and all of us have made mistakes, and just like the people of the Bible, God can help us get through these hard times. God has some different names you can call him by, names like Redeemer and Savior. These names remind me of what God does for me every single day. God shows mercy and grace and forgiveness to all who will accept him. Your troubles and mistakes are never too much for God to handle. For the Bible says in Psalms 103.12, He, meaning God, has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. What that means is God takes our past mistakes far away from us so that we don't have to worry about them any longer. And we don't have to worry about them any longer because we are forgiven. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 3.17, For the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Therefore, if you receive the Spirit of the Lord, you will in turn receive freedom from the troubles and problems of this life. These truths remind me of a story in the Bible in the book of Joshua. A woman named Rahab lived in the city of Jericho. Rahab was a sinful woman. God sent the Israelite army to destroy the city of Jericho, and Rahab saved two Israelite spies sent into the city from capture, and the Israelites were very grateful. And because of her deed, and because she trusted and believed in God, her and her family were spared from death when her city was destroyed. Because Rahab trusted in God, she was spared from death and despair. It didn't matter that she was sinful. What matters was that she trusted God. You see, it doesn't matter for you if your lives are chaotic and filled with problems, and it doesn't matter if you disobeyed God and sinned repeatedly. No matter what you've done, God will always love you and forgive you if you trust and love him. Here is a verse that reminds me of this truth. Romans 8, 2. And because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. God can help us break away from our messed up, troubled lives. So before I was born, my biological father had some problems in his life. He got into some bad things that he shouldn't have. And just like all of us, he made some mistakes. But God was able to help him break free from those mistakes. He's now living a happy life up in Wyoming. And because God helped him break away from his sins and troubles, I was able to have a better, more healthy relationship with him. God helped him get back on his feet and helped him break away from his old troubled life. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. This verse reminds me that the trouble and suffering in my life is not what God has planned for me, and that what he has planned for me is of a good and hopeful future so that I can prosper. Here are some other verses that help me to remind me of God's love and forgiveness. 2 Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, and the new is here. 1 Corinthians 8.3, but whoever loves God is known by God. And 1 Corinthians 13.8, love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. This verse means that love is never ending, even though other things will end and fail. God's love is never ending. He will never stop loving you, even if you have messed up a million times. His love is bigger and stronger than all your mistakes. Here's what you should take away from this is that your mistakes and sins are never too much for God to deal with and that God's plan for you is to give you a good and hopeful future where you prosper and thrive as a child of God.